you want to buy a house. And the fact that you're watching this video confirms that you want to buy a house. But perhaps you're wondering, is it the right time for me to buy a house? Is it the right time in this market? And is it the right time in 2024? In this video, we are going to cover everything you need to know to make that decision, whether to continue renting or to go ahead and start planning to buy your first home. You may be asking yourself, do I have enough down payment to buy my first home? And even if I do have the down payment to buy a home, will today's interest rate give me the payment that I can afford? I'm Gia Silva, owner broker of Inti Realty here in Long Beach. And for the past 21 years, I have been studying the history of real estate and studying the trends and what is happening. So let's get right into it. First off, my fellow Americans, let's look at how you are seeing real estate as a long-term investment. Let's take a look at this graph. Since 2011, as you can see, Americans have been surveyed as to what they feel is the best long-term investment for them. Consumer confidence went a little bit lower right after the market crash, but as properties and real estate continued to appreciate, consumer confidence again increased. We saw that gold was doing a little bit better and then real estate started spiking up again. So today, it remains that real estate is America's choice as the best long-term investment. Now, gold in 2023 was spiking up, of course, because of inflation, but real estate still remained number one. 45% of Americans believe that investing in real estate is the way to grow wealth and the road to riches. Now, here's what's interesting. Every three years, the Federal Reserve does a survey to find out the growth in net worth. And what they found is that from 2019 to 2022, we've had the largest net growth in history. Additionally, let's read this. For families that own their primary residence, housing wealth increased substantially between 2019 and 2022 as the rise in house prices over this period far outpaced inflation. The median net housing value increased 44% between 2019 and 2022. Now let's put it into perspective. What does the average net worth look like for a homeowner compared to someone that is a renter? Now let's take a look. We are seeing that a homeowner's net worth is about 40 times greater than the one of a renter. Well, why is that? Well, especially in California, we have seen some crazy appreciation throughout the years. So if we're just looking at average of how much properties are increasing, we know that homeowners' net worth has a lot to do with the appreciation and equity they've gained in their home. And you can even see that the gap in the net worth keeps widening course as appreciation keeps continuing. So more equity that a homeowner is building, of course, more net worth, while the renter isn't really building any wealth or any equity in their home. Now you may be wondering, has this gap always existed? As you can see in this graph, it has always existed, that big gap between renter net worth and homeowner net worth. Because we're looking at national numbers, it's really important to look at income levels. So we can take a look at whether someone with this amount of income is a renter or a homeowner and how that affects their net worth. Let's take a look. So someone making $56,000 to $91,000 and is an owner has a net worth of $264,860 on average and a renter making the exact same income has a net worth of about $24,960. That is almost a $240,000 difference in net worth just by owning real estate. And of course, as income level increases, so does the net worth increase as well, considering that some of those jobs will have, of course, retirement accounts that are going to be counting towards your net worth. So let's take a look at it on a graph. We can see that other investments, yes, they are definitely contributing to an individual's net worth. But on the green area, we can also see that that's the equity that some someone has on their primary residence. If you're looking at 151,000 to 249,000 in income, take a look, over $300,000 of their net worth is coming just from their equity of the primary residence. Again, this is on a national level, right? So we're not even looking on a hyper-local level of what it looks like in California. And of course, in California, 
We've been seeing appreciation of properties go 20, 30% in the last years. So you can just imagine what average net worth is for an American here in California. That's right, home equity is a key to building wealth because it can provide a property owner with a way to tap the value of their home, such as through a home equity line of credit. And when they sell their home, the property owner will pocket more money after paying off their mortgage. And speaking to people every single day that are considering buying a property, they have asked me the questions of, okay, Gia, I buy a house and now I have all this equity, but when I want to tap into my equity, I'm gonna have costs, right? Well, similarly to your 401k, if you have one, if you wanted to draw early from your 401k, you would most likely be paying a penalty. Similarly with your home, if you're trying to tap into the equity, yes, there may be cost involved, just like drawing from your 401k. And the ways to tap into it are going to be a home equity line of credit or selling your home and cashing out. Interest rates, down payment, liabilities, debt to income ratio. Those are all so many factors to consider when you're thinking about buying a property. We have seen through studying all these graphs in this video and of course the data that real estate remains to be the number one investment to wealth growth. So there you have it. Whether you've been thinking, should I buy today or hold off? What is there to think about? If a second opinion would be helpful, or if you believe that you can't purchase a property on your own right now, give me a call to discuss different strategies where you can perhaps put your monies together with other consumers that you know to finally be a homeowner. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe below to our channel. And I hope to see you next time.